Hey, welcome back to Drawing with me, Vince Mancuso. And today I want to talk about the planes of the human head. Okay, so using the sphere structure, the structure of the sphere as our base, and we create our, our uh, wire frame. Once we have that, we can start to actually define or draw out the planes of the mannequin head. Now, the planes are critical because they help us establish our lighting. Once we know what the direction of our light is, we can start to determine, you know, light, shadow, core shadow, and cast shadow effects on the mannequin head, but we need to first establish the planes. And the way that you do that is you start to think of the basic positions of a three-dimensional form, right? Or, or views of a three-dimensional form. You've got to have a front view, you've got to have a side view, you've got to have a top view, you've got to have a bottom view. Okay, now this becomes very simple, you know, like what are your frontal planes? Where are they? If they start and stop at a certain point, then where do the side planes begin? Where does the top in relationship to the front start and finish? Okay, so if you ask those questions, where is the frontal plane, side plane, top plane? And then you start to build the transitional planes in between. You can establish the surface structure of the mannequin head, light it, and tone it to work with your lighting scheme. It's imperative that you memorize the planes of the head. If you do, you can draw the head in any position, anywhere in space, and light it however you like. Memorize the planes. Practice, practice, more is best, speed is God, and the quality will catch up. Bye for now.